What's up guys, this is Bam Bam Amalgam and today I thought we'd take a look on one of my Minecraft creations. It's a semi-automatic uh, minecart station, I guess you would call it. Uh, so I'll brief you, briefly show you what it does and then I'll explain the different parts for you. So I'll stop by saying, uh, do not uh, don't bother about the, the design because I'm not too good at it and for this I have barely tried uh, designing it. So uh, let's get right into it and we'll press this button right here and a cart will arrive down here. Um, you step on this pressure plate, you get into the cart and off you go. Uh, this just goes around as you saw but uh, uh, if you're building this in your word you would have like one here and one over there and you would connect them and you wouldn't have to carry your cart around and uh, yeah it's just more convenient when you come here press a button and there will, there will always be a cart so let's start by explaining this part first the uh, departure part <laughs> I guess you'd call it uh, let's go down here and check out the wiring so here we got the input uh, from the pressure plates down uh, uh, up top uh, it goes through three repeaters before going into the piston that pushes uh, the that block uh, up and uh, behind here this just uh, a wire first uh, this block is so I can have an inverter right there uh, up there to the torch which powers the uh, the rail ah the rail that one as you can see so let's see let's put that block back Let's put that the right way. So uh, I have three repeaters on the fourth notch, just because uh, I need, I want a bit of time before the cart shoots off, and uh, I get that with three repeaters. Uh, simple enough. So uh, let's take a look at the other side. Uh, right here, we got a. I'm, <laughs> I'm not actually sure what it's called. I should have checked it before. Uh, starting the video but uh, oh well it um, uh, I can't even explain it I'll just show you so okay so watch closely when I step on this the rail comes uh, goes back into the wall and the block comes up you saw that and when I uh, walk off it the block goes down and then the rail comes out first first rail then block first block the rail and that's uh, that's what it does and that's what this um, little redstone thing it does I'll just explain it so the input is in this block and then you put a repeater from that block to that block you can see the arrow pointing into it and then you put a repeater from that block to that block the repeater pointing in and then a repeater from that block to that block uh, you can see the repeater and then um, a repeater from that block to that block that's important you have to put that one to that one you have to have three the same way and one the other way uh, and then it will like reverse the signal I'm not sure what to call it but well you saw what it did um <coughs> so uh, here's the output from uh, the first thing uh, the first, <laughs> well there's two outputs, that one and that one, this is the first one. So it just goes around into repeat a, rep a repeater which powers that block which raises that piston. And the second wand, uh, wand, one, is this one, it um, reverses the signal, reverse, and it goes up here into uh, that piston. Uh, with a delay delay of two just because well without the delay it won't work uh, simple enough 
So uh, don't mind that torch. It's just for a powered rail uh, above. Uh, okay, there's no power rail here. Okay, I guess I changed something. Let's remove it. Uh, okay, so uh, next part, these rails. Uh, they're a bit trickier than you can uh, than you would have thought. So the wire goes down here, around here, up here. Uh, if you're not being careful where you put this wire, uh, it could interfere with that piston, causing the known uh, piston glitch, and uh, it will uh, mess up the whole construction. So be careful with that where you put the wire. And uh, yeah, that's about it with this part. Uh, nothing too difficult. Uh, I've built this all my own. I haven't checked any tutorials for any minecart stations or some, uh, anything like that. So there's probably a few like this out there. But uh, yeah, I thought it, I'd do it myself and thought I'd make a video of it. So, uh, next part. Uh, let's see, what should we do first? Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, so when the cart arrives here, um, look at one, and I'll show you. Yep, there we go. You hop in. Off you go. Stops right there. I'll just walk it off. <laughs> uh, step on the pressure plate. Off it goes. Um, we'll follow it. It goes through here, through everything here, and it goes to this uh, to this stack of minecarts. Uh, you can see them right there. And this is the wire to that button that I've been pressing. It powers this piston, which powers, uh, which moves the block. Uh, let's see if I can show it, maybe. Let's get a torch there. Pick it up, come on, there we go. So, there you go, that's what happens. It pushes the cart from there and all the way up this small hill and it drops down right there and uh, ends up at the rail where you saw it before. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I could say that I'm not too good at uh, compact wiring, so this uh, will uh, most likely, uh, this could most likely be done in a bit more compact way. Um, yeah. I'm not sure I have anything more to say. If you want me to do a tutorial on like the more tricky parts like this part right here. Oh yeah, there it goes. Uh probably doesn't work with an empty cart because this to few uh, well, almost. Because there is too few uh powered rails. Uh, if you want like a loading um a cart loaded with uh, goods or something like that, you you would have to have more uh, powered rails. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, and as I said, um, if you want a tutorial on some of the more tricky parts like this, uh, or even the m a bit more easier parts like this, or the button, this. Uh, so, uh, just leave me a comment or a message, and I'll try to provide a tutorial. Uh, so thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. I hope you find this useful and uh, yeah, that's about it. Have a nice day and bye.